Welcome back to the AB Scout Project. I'm Krager, and this is Alpha Bravo. We had a request for the Wreckers trainees from this frame of the Requiem of the Wreckers. We see we have Six Knight, Bulkhead, Breacher, and Strong Arm. We've already done Six Knight in our Six Clan episode, which the Fans Project We Color of Mad Law here is the winner. We did Bulkhead in his own episode. From the look in the frame, the animated Voyager is the closest look. So we're going to look at Breacher and Strong Arm for this episode. Breacher only had one figure, the 2010 movie Hunt for Decepticons that the Reveal the Shield Wind Charger is standing in for. It's the only choice, so it's the winner. So our final character today is Strongarm. The first user of the name was the Omnicon from Energon. He was featured in several episodes, but he's not the focus of this episode. Our focus is on the Fembot, who first appeared in the Robots in Disguise 2015 cartoon that was a law enforcement inf trainee under Bumblebee who got caught up in his adventures. In the 2005 IDW Comics continuity, she appeared as one of the Wreckers trainees and had a couple small appearances after. The character was a direct transplant from RID 2015, so that's where our focus will be. For the toys, our stand-ins are Legion Thunderhoof for the Legion class, Play School Whirl for the Battle Pack, One Step Bumblebee for both the One Step Molds, JP93 here is for the Activator. First of all, we'll remove the Energon because that look is not the focus of this episode. Although, as a bonus, he's the best toy for the Energon representation because he's the only mold. Just pick one of the many flavors the mold came in. Next we'll remove for playability, plausibility. This pretty much takes out everything except for the Battle Pack and the Warrior class. For scale, in the IDW comics, she's always at a dunch angle with no real great comparisons beside her. So we'll look at the IDW 2019, and we see she's the same size as Nightbeat. A while back, we decided Nightbeat was a deluxe for IDW, so Strong Arm should be a deluxe. Long story short, the battle pack is out. So the winner is the Robots in Disguise Warrior class. This figure may have some challenges for articulation, but it's really the best toy for the scale. Thanks for joining us today on the AB Scout Project. If there's a character you'd like to see, put your request in the comments below, although there aren't too many left. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see y'all later.